From Phil Speed Tech comes a weekly digital series where he shares his insights, concepts, and findings learned during his 15-year journey of working in the entertainment industry. Each lesson offers you a roadmap to overcome the challenges that all artists face on the path to success. Welcome to a Phil Speed Tech podcast. Hello, I'm Phil Speed Tech, 360 Creative Coach, and it is my mission and simultaneous pleasure with this series to help you master mental fortitude because it is my belief that in order to succeed in the entertainment industry, it takes way more than just talent and luck because in this journey, as you go, you will face hardships. And if you don't have the mental, mental toughness, the mental fortitude to get through those obstacles, you're just gonna topple over. And that's a sad thing, right? And so in this lesson, it's kind of a simple lesson. I wanna talk about the idea of encouragement. So let me backtrack. At the start of this year, like most people, I made a New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution was to support my friends more. When I look at it, whether it be Steven Spielberg or George Lucas, a lot of those filmmakers that I admire, they talked about kind of like there being a class of, of peers. They didn't all literally go to the same school, but they were of the same era. And what's kind of cool is that they cite each other as friends and they would help each other. And sometimes they would get competitive and so forth. And there's, you know, Spielberg and Lucas aren't the only examples of this, but they, they, they would essentially rise together within this business. And I look at that and I thought to myself, I can't be the, if they, if they had this, then why not be able to create that for myself? And what was cool is I looked around my own surroundings and at the friends that I had, and a lot of them are doing some amazing, amazing things. They truly are. And so I was like, well, why can't that be my class of people? You know, why can't we all sort of support each other and rise together? And let me be the, f if nothing else, let, let me be that person that supports them. Not in hopes that all of a sudden, you know, I'll gain something from it. But if nothing else, you know, I, I love supporting artists. And so why wouldn't I start with the foundation of the people I already know and support their art, right? So that was my New Year's resolution. And I, heading into this past weekend, I was approaching my 31st birthday. I am now 31. But when I was approaching that weekend in celebration of it, as I always try to do, I always try to reflect. And I, I thought a lot about that New Year's resolution. Namely because a couple weeks ago, I heard a great speech about the power of encouragement. Now, I'm not really one to think in terms of dichotomies, but the way this was explained, you, you essentially, as a human being, you have two options. You can encourage someone or discourage someone. And the context in which this speech was laid out, this was by Erwin McManus, he talked a lot about in terms of friendships. And this is why it tied in, because I want to support my friends. And he, he said, like, the more you discourage the people around you, then eventually you're going to drive those people away. Because at the end of the day, in order to foster friendships and meaningful relationships, you got to encourage people, right? You have two options, encourage or discourage. And it's kind of interesting. That's why a lot of parents don't actually have a great relationship with their with their kids is because early on in those years, there was a lot of discouragement towards the, their child's passion. So it's no coincidence that the child eventually walks away from that energy and goes towards things that that is meaningful to them and hopefully in a place where they can be nurtured uh, towards their passions, right? And I look back at my life and, you know, we, we always kind of try to do the, what we feel like is beneficial of like, let me, I'm going to give you the truth, like tough love, right? That's the term that we have for it. But really it's just another form of discouragement. And I look at back in my own life and some of the most uh, 
greatest achievements I've had have been completely because of asinine ideas that I've had. They were just so bold headed and people kind of warned me of like, hey, I don't think that's going to work. You know, I just, I, I'm just kind of forewarning you. I just want to kind of look out for you. But I was luckily enough to be bullheaded enough where I said, nah, nah, and I'm just going to go for it. In fact, the movie that I'm working on right now, the feature film, is kind of in that way of if, if you know, when I describe it in plain terms, it's completely insane that this is even a thing that, that I'm attempting, let alone a thing that I'm succeeding at. And succeeding at thanks to the, the help of all the actors and the rest of the producers. But they've bought into this idea that, yeah, this is crazy, but we're going to go for it type of deal. But it only sounds crazy until you actually try it and you succeed at it, right? Everything's impossible until you actually achieve it. And so in kind of my own experience and, and hearing that, that speech by Erwin McManus of there really being only two forms, you can encourage somebody or you can discourage somebody. And if you, the more you discourage somebody, the more they're going to eventually kind of want to be out of your life. Well, the choice is simple. I'm always going to incur- I'm going to always encourage uh, those around me. And no matter how far-fetched their idea may be, it's not to say I'm going to blindly say like, yeah, go go do what you want. Uh, I'm going to try to offer up based on experience the things that they have to look out for, but be solution-oriented rather than just say, "No, nah, I can't be done." And in so doing, the whole point of this lesson is the more you encourage people, the greater a community will, you will continue to build around you. And essentially, the more success you can kind of have. And vice versa, it comes back to what you put out there, right? If we, uh, the, uh, Joe Dispenza, he's not the only one, but he, he talks a lot about the quantum realm. What the energy we give off is the energy we receive. And so if you give encouraging, nurturing energy out into the world and to the people that matter to you, then you will receive that back. But the more, and again, the, 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 the disguise of discouragement is really this idea of tough love or, you know, uh, hey man, I really care about you type of deal. But Really what it comes down to, just encourage those around you. Support your friends more. And if you really want to make it, that is a huge key to success because you will rise together. And the fact that not enough people, like they become so self-centered, like it's all about me. I have to make it. I don't have time for other people. It's such a short-sighted mentality that the more I examine, the more I just, I just don't understand why people think that way. And so I want to encourage you, pun intended, to not think in that way. To encourage the, the people around you. To encourage yourself also. And just take bold risks. Because ultimately, you, who knows? Maybe you might quote unquote fail. But you'll certainly, through that failure, you'll learn something. And so will the people that you are encouraging to go, go after their, uh, their passions, right? So that's the lesson. You want to build a great community around you? Just be encouraging. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know your thoughts on this. Because, you know, at times, like, I do try to embody the spirit of encouragement. But I have found myself being discouraging even despite this new mantra of mine, if you will. So it is tough, right, to put the full practice, but, but I'm curious to know uh, your thoughts and how you're kind of going to go about it and perhaps some of the roadblocks you do come up with. So that way, uh, by putting it in the comment section, we can all help each other out. I can respond with a comment, and by, by that interaction alone, other people can kind of see it and, and gain something from it, right? And also, if you're new to this series, I strongly encourage you to subscribe if you like what you are seeing. That way you get all the latest lessons that I have uh, right when they come out. And furthermore, there are plenty of lessons for you to check out. So if this is the first lesson or uh, you know just a few of the lessons that you've caught, please check back my entire library. There's so many lessons that I have for you that are all free, as well as other free resources. Those can be found at my website, philosvitek.com. And if you prefer instead to learn by reading, well, I just came out with a course book called Master Mental Fortitude that 
takes my ideas and puts it in written form, but not only that, it also explains how it applies to you. And furthermore, because it's a course book, it, it gives you exercises to put those lessons to practice because it's one thing to gain all this insight, but it's a whole other thing to actually put it to practice. So Master Mental Fortitude is the book that attempts to kind of help you in your journey of that. And um, if nothing else, uh, one of the best ways to kind of help uh, if, if you like what you're hearing is to also spread the word, tell a friend who you think might benefit from, from my teachings. And that way we build and continue to build an amazing community of like-minded creatives and we can all grow and support each other. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm at Phil Svitek on social media and I hope you see you next time.